We got a hat. We don't need more than one of that, though. You know, I think... Uh, Rian has earned her Iron Helm. Yup. Uh, you get this one. Big ol' boost in stuff. Yay! But how many times can you fight him? We know there's at least two more rewards, so it's like, whatever. Alright, time to loop. Time to loop, one's out. Wait, wait. We only have 55 gold, but we might as well, uh, you know, preserve it. Give me one of those bandanas, my guy. We're all about the hats now. Should I try that again and go for more hat crockery? I mean, it is a definite goal. It would be nice to have them out of the way. Hmm. And if we're smart about how we uh, approach the puff flies, or smarter about how we approach the puff flies, maybe we can get more of them and therefore more experience. Yeah, we'll go. we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. It's gonna be the same thing, just minus the forest witch, because she's stupid and bad, and plus hat cotton. Who is also stupid in his own way, but at least is, like, not infuriatingly awful to fight. I really don't know what they expect us to do with Forest Witch. Just, like... Is it because I'm killing her minions so fast? I mean, I can't imagine it would be. Like, why would her tactics depend on how many enemies she has left on the field? Like, it'd be one thing if one person could use the Reveal Gem, and then the other two people could still do something on the same turn, but no! She, she has her turn where she goes invisible, and then you need to spend at least one turn using a Reveal Gem. And she goes invisible, like, <laughs> every three turns or something. It's so ridiculous. And her defense is through the roof, I wonder if Brianna can't do something about that, like, she has a sh that Shatter Armor ability. And I know Luke can back attack to override defense, but how much is that going to help? Especially when you can barely pin her down. <sighs> it's obnoxious. Brianna, help me. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Brianna's relationship will now never drop below 40, but... but... Well, it can't anyway. Also, that was an absolute waste. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, that was our 20 extra energy that we would have spent grinding anyway, yeah? Yeah, we can still do all the puff flies and something else. Do we have the TP for this? We almost do. Well, it doesn't really matter. So we've got, you know, battle prep. You, battle prep. You guys should just hit some puff flies. Though it is a little disheartening knowing Luke can't quite do them in one battle prep. But we might be able to get them with more than one uh, flurry blades. Because he's really close to 50, as you know as it is. Like, he only needs to uh, get one swing in, and he'll be able to do that again and kill them all. In the meantime, we should probably aim for ones that are pretty close to dead. Just to make sure they go down. Yeah, see, now we can do it again, and that'll finish the rest of them. Ice Puff Lies, on lock. Give me that experience. There was 625, good stuff. More Puff Lies. Yeah, I'm less worried about having Flurry Blades ready for Hat Rock because, you know, Hat Rock's just a completely different beast than the Witch. And we got a level up on Slimy there too, didn't we? That was pretty good. Alright, you, do the thing. They're all going down. Yes! Rihanna leveled up as well. But it wasn't enough, was it? All right, Hat Rock. You have at least two more hats, and we want them. 
You want your hats. Every time you beat him, he gets a little stronger. How will be he? How will he be stronger this time? I wonder. One of these times, we also need to remember to like bring resources to this fight. Whatever, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, guys. He's still attacking last. Just attack the dude. And you get angry. Stop that. He snuck ahead with that one somehow. Or did he just get a free action to do that? He's gonna attack again at the end of this turn. Oh no. He, I don't know what, how he managed that. That's really weird. I don't know. I'll just keep back attacking the guy. I'll take plenty of damage. You absorb to offset uh, your own suffering. And I don't know if you can even hurt him through the super debuffs and all, but just try your best. I think, like, er, Luke is outpacing his healing. Once again. Yeah, you know, every little bit <laughs> they counterattacked each other. Owie. It's okay, though. He's recovering with his absorption. Keep going, guys. We can beat this croc, no problem. I don't know if he's just failing to paralyze us or what. Because of his armor shattering. Please stop picking on Slimy. I would like him to also get experience here. He's the only one who gets to keep it, you know. Um, I mean, she can also try it on him. We'll give it a shot. No, Slimy. Oh, well. Big deal. I guess I could have Slimy... Well, no, because I was having him use Absorb, and he still countered that. I don't really get what actions he does or doesn't counter, because he hasn't been countering my back attack is the thing. That's... I find that very odd. Oh, she was able to shatter his armor. So here's the question. If this ignores defense, is it does, does that mean it ignores defense buffs, or just in general? Because, like, well, let's just see. Let's just try a regular attack and see how much that does, now that his armor is shattered. Also, can you, like, get enraged? Can you get an attack buff, please? Okay, no, back attack was still better. Yeah, I know what you do your worst, Croc. I ain't a skirt of you. That might even finish him. Oh, not quite. Nice counter attack. She got him. Luke leveled up, but it doesn't really matter. Let's take the witch hat this time. Alright. One more loop of that, and we'll have all of Hatcroc's hats. And probably get an achievement for him, too. Do you have anything to say, G? No. Alright. Once again, preserving our 50 gold. Uh, what do we want to do there? We want to, like, uh, I'm gonna buy another bandana, baby. Yeah, bandana's a rule. I'm glad we've been able to get through this guy consistently, though. For as tougher as he seems to be getting, we're doing just fine. What's the deal with hat croc? Like, really? One more hat. And then we'll turn our focus to other places. We'll give the magician girl her hat later. It's not like we're done using any of these people. We need them all for the Dark Lord, after all. But yeah, I'm just overwhelming him with ridiculous amounts of power. It's been consistently good. It's how it's exactly how I wished the Forest Witch would go. But it seems like there is a, some trick we need to apply to defeat her. And I know they said, like, setting her on fire prevents her from hiding, but we saw that it was blatantly untrue the first time we fought her. Like, she was on fire, and it did not stop her from hiding. And I'm like, I just don't get it, man. Is something going wrong here? Forest Witch, what is her deal? Easily the most obnoxious foe. I'm also a little curious about, like, if Hat if Hatcroc is ever going to become unavailable, because he clearly has a limit to the number of rewards he can give you, but, you know, 
the, uh, the what's it? What was I gonna say? Crap. You can pick more than one of the same, which is a little weird to me. Don't accidentally talk to her, just recruit her. Join me, please. Yes, we will. We will beat up the monsters. Once again, we'll start with the Ice Puff Flies. Oh, he doesn't have quite as much TP as he did last time, though. Alright, in that case, we're going to take on these ones first and make sure we get enough that we'll be at 50 before we do the thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Luke, you're too strong, man. And take out these ones in just a single blow. There we go. I don't know if it's even worthwhile to do this at this point. Because he's killing them so quickly. But, you know, this is a guarantee they all die next turn, so. As long as they don't start fleeing. Yeah, see, they haven't. They haven't! They're sticking around. But, if I save this, then I can Flurry Blades twice on the Ice Puff Flies and not have to risk it. Alright. Alright. We'll cross our fingers. Oh, he missed. Did you run? It's not. <laughs> it accepted its fate. They really do wait a lot longer than the Ice Puff Flies. Alright, you guys. You're going down. Very rapidly. Mm-hmm. Yup. Oh, those sweet gains. Alright, Hatcroft. We want the last of your hats. Every time you defeat him, yeah, whatever. Fight, Hat Croc. Fight. Battle prep. Uh, you want to just keep attacking the guy. You want to just get angry. Yeah, he gets a free action at the start of the turn with that. And he keeps super debuffing her, which kind of makes me mad. Okay, so no, it didn't... It's not that it failed to buff her, it's that it eliminated the debuff and did not apply an actual buff in its place. Which is a bit weird, but you know, whatever, I'll take it. Uh, is it worth it to bother with this? I don't know. We know the back attack was doing plenty of damage, but how much does this do? It does strike twice. Absorb. Will Slimey survive a hat croc battle? It's kinda hard to tell. Power yourself up even more, dear. Okay, yeah, that was more than a uh, regular attack would have done. Only slightly more, but still. Probably worth doing. So yeah, now you just stick with the back attacks. You keep absorbing. And yeah, now she's got her uh, boosted attack and such. Um, we want to shatter his armor. Break him! Break that croc! She's unbreakable herself. She's just too potent. Alright, yeah, just go for it. Howie! My goodness, his counterattacks do so much damage. Oh, that crit, though! That crit! <laughs> yeah, you better heal, guy! Uh, I think I'm just going to have Slimy guard, because if he attacks, he's probably just going to get annihilated by a counterattack. Yeah, if, if it weren't for that crit, I might have needed to have Slimy attack, but there's just no reason. Slimy now! Can't kill my Slimy little friend. Not this time. No, sir. Slimy will see the end of this Hat Croc battle! The final Hat Croc battle! Yes! At Croc! Give me that elven ribbon. See, they spelled it right here. It's That's how you're supposed to spell elven. I beat Hat Croc a lot of times. Do I get achievement? Do I get the Hat Croc achievement? 
Give me the hat crack achievement. You suck. How is there not a hat crack achievement? We've got all his hats. There's no reason to fight him again. Come on, game. Why are you like this? Why you gotta be like this? There's achievement for everything, but not hack rock. I feel gypped. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little gypped. Unless I do need to beat hack rock one more time for a super secret final hat. But that doesn't seem likely. Uh, oh, we forgot to preserve the money. We were supposed to buy another hat with that. Crud. Hmm. But now what should we do? Does this, does this one give you the option to fight the bosses too? No, you can only enter the fairy forest. That's the only an option on the ice cave. <sighs> goodness. Well, we've grown in power quite a bit since last we faced the uh, Dark Lord, but there are still a few things I want to get done. We haven't beaten the boss of the casino. We haven't beaten the boss of the desert. And I just don't know what to do with this lady. She's ridiculous. Hmm. How to spend this loot. I think I want to resolve the casino. That's been a thorn in our side long enough. Let's... Let's try to grind up Lillian a bit. In preparation for whatever else they're going to throw at us, because Lillian makes the Shatter Strats the easiest. So any experience we can get for her is going to be beneficial to getting this done. Should I do the regular Puff Flies to get us off the ground? I don't know if we can take the Ice Puff Flies at our current strength, but regular Puff Flies, they really aren't so bad. Yeah, let's go for them. Especially with us all starting at higher levels now and all that. Yeah, you just battle prep. You hit them. Uh, you can try to fire pillars, I guess. Yeah, just because Luke starts at level 5 doesn't mean he's uh, strong enough to take these guys out. I mean... I'm sure he'll do plenty of damage to them. But is it going to be enough? I'm guessing perhaps not. Oh, what were they doing with Lillian? Yeah, see, that was decent. Oh, she still killed it anyway. Look at that. I haven't really tried back attacking these guys. How much can I do to them? I just keep fire pillarsing. Or would she do more damage with by putting dots on them? I mean, that was our old strategy. Kind of only using fire pillars because it targets multiple things, and that's nice. Hmm. Also, you've got your poison. I need to keep this in mind. Yeah, that one's like the healthiest. Put the dots on that one if we can. Come on, poke. Poisoned. Deceased. Did not burn it. All right. I think another next back attack will probably killed this one. Uh, we've already poisoned this guy. Just try to burn him again. Hey, huh? I guess Slimey's level ups are not to be underestimated. There we go. We're still able to beat them all. But we can do better. We can do better. Let's head into the ice cave. 